Hello, hello, and welcome once again. J76NY here. Abdicom. This is the battle for the Dutch East Indies. Uh, last episode we ended with S5 up here encountering our two heavy cruisers that we hit with uh, Task Force 2. Um, we did manage to do a little more damage to one of them with a torpedo attack. Uh, but it did not sink. Uh, if we can re-engage them again, I will uh, hit them with two more torpedoes. Um, down here in the Java Sea, we've got uh, Marblehead escorting two supply ships. Uh, Task Force 9 is loaded and headed towards a rendezvous with uh, the Marblehead and her two ships. Uh, we're going to uh, probably, I've been thinking, just send them up to uh, drop that uh, off at this here. Uh, hopefully we can retake that uh, soon. And then they're going to run uh, troop convoys from where we need them, or to where we need them, which is Palembang. Um, we're two days out from getting more supplies and troops over on Darwin, uh, more command points too, uh, so we will definitely be using those for, um, I'm thinking more submarines. Submarines seem to be the way to go uh, in terms of successful attacks, at least by sea. So I'm going to probably pull out a couple more submarines and station them up here um, and go from there. It's a tough fight, but the fight we have to win. Okay, just off of Batavia, we have a uh, five-ship sighting. Uh, Task Force 2 is in the area. We're going to hopefully try and intercept them as they come out. Uh, not entirely sure what they are. Uh, I've launched one plane from here to uh, scout it out. So let's uh, take a look and see what we have out to mess with us. There they are out there. Oh, what do we have inbound? Wow. Wow. All over the place. Uh, looks like we have a damaged light cruiser. Oh, I've seen you before. So we do have a damaged light cruiser. And then uh, several destroyers. Those could be carrying troops. Um, I believe this is our friend that we hit in the previous episode. Uh, we'll get out of here. We'll get Task Force 2 in and finish this Nagara off. Alright, so unfortunately they turned tail and ran, uh, and they outpaced us, so we did lose contact with them. Um, never even caught sight of the, the light cruiser, even though the light cruiser was the only thing that was firing on us, so uh, we will 
continue to loiter in this area. If we can uh, catch sight of them again, we can engage. Uh, they were 25,000 yards out, so maybe next time we can um, pick them up a little closer. Actually, bring you out a little bit like this. I don't really want to get too far out of where they might be. So, if we can catch them again, we will engage them and finally get rid of that uh, Nagara. Okay, at long last, we've actually spotted them. I just spotted the uh, Nagara through radar at 10,000 yards out. They were there and shooting at me, but I couldn't do anything about it because I couldn't see them for some reason. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna start firing. Well, we don't have any ammo in our secondaries on our main ships. Uh, looks like it's armor piercing for you. Sumatra, we're probably just as bad off in terms of ammo. It's all armor piercing. Paul Jones, you can fire as well. Probably have the most ammo out of everybody. And a decent solution, so... Uh, it's like we just barely avoided a collision here, or had one and didn't see it. We use Houston to identify the other ships in the group um, as we fire on Nagara. Uh, that would be you. We do have a, it looks like a damaged, uh, yep, she's damaged. I did, uh, get pulled into the tactical map about three times. 13,000 yards out on her, she's only going. It's gonna be kind of a waste of ammo, but... Let's uh, put some of our big rounds right on top of her. Now she's now she's moving a little bit. Let's see if we can uh, score some hits here while we identify this other ship. 
That's also not moving. That would be... Sashio. That's the whole group. Alright, hold your fire. Like she's turning. Put a couple rounds right there. So uh, actually break and slow down a little bit and then start turning like this. What the fuck? Exeter, what are you doing, bud? Let's break the Exeter in Houston off and have them do their own thing. That's kind of an interesting shot there. Probably should have her hold her fire. But we can take take some shots with our secondaries. Got everybody firing on the Nagara. Except for Houston and her main guns. So let's do that. She says she's targeting Nagara. Score any hits on these guys? Looks like we did on him. But right now I want to make sure this Nagara goes down. Okay, hold your fire. We'll deal with the destroyers as they, as need be. That was a good hit. Let's get Paul Jones to... Uh, let's have... Paul Jones retarget this. K8. Oh. Well, that was unfortunate. Jones speed just dropped drastically. What did we lose all yeah, we lost most of our front guns. Look at this. Critical and critical. I think we're gonna lose our destroyer here. That's not good. Not good at all. Okay, Paul Jones, you gotta let's break the Paul Jones. Actually, we'll do everybody. You can barely move anyway, so let's get you up here. What is happening up here, you guys? Oh, you silly guys. Uh, crash back here. Hopefully we don't collide. Poor Paul Jones. Wow. Is anybody hitting the 
Gara. Let's turn you turn Java as well. Uh, we're going to have you target this Fabuki here. Fire. Hey, okay, Exeter. Get you down into the theater, Houston. I don't think Paul Jones is going to make it. Alright, Exeter, I want you to hold your fire. Uh, start targeting... Fubuki here. Uh, Houston with your main guns. Let's put a couple shots down on her. Although this Sashio is only going four knots. We could probably... Oh, now she's picking up speed. 18 knots. Great hell with this. Salvo's there. Okay, hold your fire. That was a good hit. It's not even moving, so... Not entirely sure how much it's going to take to sink this. Uh, Sumatra. Hold your fire. Fubuki's looking like they're up to no good, so start focusing on them for now. Exeter is also firing on the Fubuki. We got a lot of ships firing on this Fubuki here. Uh, Paul Jones is oh, worse for wear here. Still firing, though. Fighting to the last. Exeter, I think they're out of ammo. Oh, no, they're not. Almost. We're going to have you hold your fire. Uh, have you come... Or get this Asashio here. Uh, Houston... Houston is targeting the Asashio right now. Critical, critical, critical heavy. Stop targeting Nagara. Start targeting Sasashio. We're going to open up with everything. guys spinning in circles here. I think that's Paul Jones that's firing on her.
have you hold fire. We're gonna do something a little silly here. Uh, this gun's not in. Okay, Fubuki is sinking. So let's just course. have our secondaries target the K-8. I don't know if we even have any. Oh yeah, we do. And we actually have high explosive target K-8. Fire. Uh, main guns fire on Asashio. Nagar is still holding on. no one's firing on her anymore. Uh, main guns. Hold your fire. Target Nagara. Just fire on Nagara until she dies. Sumatra. Target Asashio. Open up. Java. Asashio. Exeter is firing on type K-8. I don't know if that's with everything, but I hope not. Sashio looks uh, like she hasn't actually been hit by anything whatsoever. Hold fire. I want to use all my ammo up here. We're going to have to send these guys back anyway. Okay. That works. Type K8. Let's just uh, do that for now. Let one huge salvo go. And target Asashio. Finally. Finally sunk this guy. Paul Jones. I don't think they're going to get the fires. They are just completely struggling to get these fires under control. Not sure why you're uh, holding your fire, but... And still shoot. Oh, it looks like we might have uh, hit her with something. Sashio. Oh, they're shooting at our float plane. Thought we had this guy in here. It's nice to take care of this group after the hunt. I looked and looked and looked and. Right, K8 is sinking. Exeter. Houston. Paul Jones. Do what you can while you still have some life left, anybody. Sashio is going to take the uh, brunt of our task force now, being the only one left. I do one of these neat little cinematic shots here. Nice if we uh, actually hit her with that, but 
Oh, there she goes. Uh, Houston. We're gonna... Turn you a little bit. We're gonna turn you a little bit. Uh, you... Ready to go. Looks like she's turning out now. Let's put you... Right there. Hold fire. Just nailed her. There we go. I'd say that was Houston. Down to eight knots. Getting good hits now. Jones actually has the fires under control for the well for the most part. Zero percent speed. <coughs> I think she's out of ammo too. I don't know. How many rounds left? Sasha is down two or not. Hold our fire. Let's go back to regular. Houston. Speed zero. Dead in the water. hit from Houston, I'd say. Hanging on for another... Oh, there she goes. All right. Jones. Critical damage, critical flooding. I'm going to see what she looks like after I get everything else fixed. Uh, we may just be scuttling this ship. I may not have a choice. Alright, critical, critical. She's at 32% speed, so uh, this whole task force is pretty beat up. Um, they're going to have to go back to rearm. Uh, unfortunately, that's going to leave this area wide open. Um, but we don't really have much of a choice. Uh, yeah. Um, we'll keep them in the area for now. Uh, but there is going to be 
Uh, not much they're going to be able to do, probably, if they get into one more surface engagement. That's going to be it. So, But that's going to do it for today's episode. Uh, finally got the Nagara after quite the hunt uh, today. And over the past week, when we hit her by air, torpedoes, submarine, and just couldn't sink her, finally did. Anyway, if you like the episode, hit the like button. If you have any tips or advice, leave those in the comment section below. Um, if you want to follow along through the Abducom campaign with us, hit the subscribe, and we will see you for our next episode. J76NY saying thank you very much for watching, and have yourself a very good day.